This is another short video where I'm going to show you how to create a lollipop chart from the template available within Charticulator Visual. So this is the lollipop chart I created with only few clicks where I'm showing the revenue by city and then department, sorry, branch. And I'm filtering it by application and department. So how to create it? Let me add a new page and you need to make sure the Charticulator Visual is there in your visualization pane. If it is not there, select three dots, get more visuals and search for Charticulator Visual and click on that and add it. Then it will be part of your visualization pane. Then I need to add a new Charticulator Visual. So in this, I need to add the data. So one, I need to add the city because I want to show that information by city and then I want to show the information by branch. Then what I want to show is total profit. Now let me click on the three dots and edit. This time I am now downloading the template from the website because only few templates are by default available within the visual. See more templates, then it will take you to the browser where you can see the lollipop chart. So click on the template and it will be downloaded. I've already downloaded so I need not do that again. So let me go back to Power BI and then I need to select import template. There I can select the lollipop chart and open it. Now you have three uh, parameters or three attributes, country, population and geographic location. I will assume country as branch and then population as total revenue or total profit. Maybe I want revenue. Let me add revenue. Then branch, then city and then save the mapping. And the chart is created. Only thing is I need to customize it a little more. So. First thing I would like to go to this uh, line and I want to increase the width of the line. So let me go to the line and in the line there is a line width option. Increase it to almost like 7, seven points. Then I want to select the symbol and I want to increase the circle, I mean size a little bigger. And then I want to go to glyph and then the whatever value added should be inside the circle or the glyph or the shape. But the value is very big. I need to convert into a small value. So I can go to that value. Currently it is showing average. You can it is by default average. You can convert into sum as well. So I'm writing sum and then total revenue divided by 1 million so that the value will be smaller I think now it is coming inside the circle and I need to change the title so title will be revenue by city branch that's all and save it back to report increase the size and the visual is ready. If you want to change the size of the bubble or the line still you can go back edit because the shape the size is a little bigger. I don't want that. So let me select the symbol and make the size a little smaller. Yeah. And then save it and back to report. Hope you like this video. So please do subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Please share with many. Keep watching. Thank you very much.